My name is John, and welcome to UCC. I will be your tour guide for the day. I am in grade 7, and I came here in grade SK. Right here we have the Primary Years Program Board. The Primary Years Program is an IB program, and it starts in SK and ends in grade 5. It consists of six units per grade, and uh, students learn about these units and inquire into them in their inquiry class, which they have in their eight-day cycle. So we'll get started. Right this way, please. Right here, we have an SK classroom, the only one in the school. Right inside, are having their homeroom period, and they're just starting off their day. So the SKs have cubbies here where they keep their jackets, their gym bag, their shoes, everything is right here. In older grades, their cubbies are downstairs where they keep all of this, although their gym bags are kept in their cubbies up here. Right this way, please. Right here we have 2F, which is a grade 2 classroom. If you want to come here, and uh, here we have this timetable. So, every form has their own unique timetable. 2F right now has their own timetable here. Um, and basically what it is, it's a guide for the day. UCC runs by an eight-day cycle. So, therefore, once one day, every eight days, they'll have the same subjects. So. Every eight days, they might have day one, two times, and every day one, they'll have the same subjects, such as literacy circles and ICT and so on. Right here, we have 1G, which is a grade one classroom. And 3C which is one of the two grade three classrooms. This is the first year when there are two classrooms and classes of teachers. <laughs> okay. So right here we have Weston Hall. Weston Hall is where assemblies take place as well as lunch. Um, Grades S, K to grade 3 have lunch here at the same time, and then grade 6 also has lunch here. Uh, as well, um, the uh, other grades, such as grade 7 and grade 4, have lunch downstairs in the cafeteria. So right here, the Western Hall is in assembly mode, as you can see uh, from the bleachers that are out. But with one click of a button, these bleachers go inside, and we take the tables out, and it becomes into lunch mode. We have a stage here where assemblies are done for every grade, at different times though, as well as plays, um, music, many things are done in Weston Hall. And here are the tables that come out. So this is 4F. 4F is um, a grade 4 classroom. Um, so, um, so Mr. Bushy is a grade four teacher. And grade four is the first year where they have lockers. And uh, they have both an upstairs and a downstairs locker. The downstairs locker, they keep their gym bags um, and their coats and their boots. Everything uh, for outside is kept downstairs. And then here they keep their books um, and their lunch as well. So this is the first year. And uh, 4B is one of the two classrooms. This is the second grade three classroom, 3F. Uh, Mr. Furley teaches in 3F. And here we have 4O, the second grade four classroom, taught by Ms. O'Brien. And every other class in school. And they have their own unique timetable. And um, the higher the grades are, um, the different classes they'll have. So for example, um, They'll have phys ed and games um, at the end of the day. Other classes might have it in the middle of the day or at different times. Okay, so this way, please. So right down the stairs down there, we have the prep shop. 
that is where uh, you can get all of uh, the uniforms that are needed, any school supplies, everything school related can be bought in the prep shop. So right here, um, we have the grade fives in their music class, and they're working on their ukulele piece. Grade fives uh, are the only class that have ukuleles um, in primary, and all other grades from grade four and under um, participate in the use of percussion, so xylophones, um, and other musicals such as singing, and basically any other type of music. what uh, the grade fives have been practicing. They've been practicing for their winter concert where they uh, participate in carols for the holidays. So right here we have the band room where uh, grades six and seven uh, have their band class. Please head right in. So in grade six, uh, in grade six, uh, you choose an instrument if you're an old boy as well as a new boy when you apply. You choose an instrument, you choose your top three. And usually, the worst that you'll get is your second choice. Usually, you'll get your first. And you choose an instrument, and you play that for the next three years, in grade six, seven, and eight. So I play the tenor sax, and I love it. Um, so grade seven, there's more band options. So you can join a band such as Wind Ensemble, which is the hardest music being played, and you have to audition for it and try out and be chosen from concert band. Concert band is the most basic band. Everybody who joins is in, and it's the easiest music out of the three. And the one in the middle is jazz band. And they work on jazz music. And that's also an audition process to be chosen. In grade six, uh, there is, oh, sorry, Mr. McGuire. In grade six, um, there is one other option other than concert band. In concert band, every student must be in. So you don't really have a choice in grade six. But in grade seven, uh, you can choose to be in concert band. In grade six, there's also jazz band, which is the same process you try out uh, to make it. These are rooms for private lessons. So you can apply with a teacher to have a private lesson uh, with any instrument you like. It could be the one that you play in class. It could be a totally different one. So this is one of the rooms. And we have approximately three or four more. This is the whole grade five class. They're working on the ukuleles for the um, holiday concert coming up. This is one of my favorite rooms in the whole school. Room 008, your license to drill. I know, I always laugh with that. Um, so this is the design lab. This is mainly where grade six has a design class. Uh, they participate in um, activities such as woodworking, robotics, um, photo photography. That's, those are the main activities that they participate in. They have um, a great safety system. We have many drills and different things to solve the problem, as we call it in design, such as the squirrel drill and many more. Uh, grade 7 also uses the design lab. Uh, in their woodworking unit later on uh, in our year. So right here we have the automatons. These are from grade sixes last year. <coughs> Excuse me. So my grade. Uh, so basically what, we've been, what we were working on is um, something that moves. So it's an automaton where you spin it and it's to show a story and to teach a story to somebody. So that's what uh, the grade sixes will be participating in. This is the design cycle. It consists of four parts, inquiring and analyzing, which is basically doing research and finding out what are we going to do to solve this problem. Developing ideas is 
developing ideas for how to solve it. So specifics such as what are we going to do, how are we going to do it, and making a plan. Creating the solution is actually creating what you have to do. For example, the automatons over there, they're actually creating the automatons with the wood and making a prototype. So evaluating, finally, is evaluating what you've done. What worked, what didn't work, and then you go back to the steps, any of these steps, and fix what needs to be fixed or what can be improved. Okay. So they also participate uh, in singing, the primary grades in that room. They participate in singing as well as percussion and especially in grade five, they work on ukuleles. These are the trophies that we've won for our uh, music program, such as the uh, jazz music, the wind ensemble uh, in grade seven. And here we have the other trophy case for sports. Some of these, such as the craft check bolt, are uh, in our school that you can win. The craft check bolt is for the fastest runner and winning a race on prep games day. And these here, of course, the coffee cup, the fish bowl, and the cereal bowl are for intramurals. I don't know if that'd be a real trophy. <laughs> so up ahead, as well as ASP is done here. Um, ASP is, an is after school programs. You can sign up. Emails are sent to your parents, to the parents, and uh, activities such as football, um, chess, depending on your age. So the cafeteria here um, is a buffet system, just like the Western, Western Hall. Uh, it's the same system with a buffet. And you can either have lunch here at the school, pay for it, or um, you can bring it from home. Also, there's a milk and juice program where you just get your drinks here, and you bring everything else home. So those are the three programs to sign up for. And down here we have the cubbies uh, for grades, cubbies instead of the ones in SK. This is where they put their jackets, uh, their backpacks, and their shoes. As well as the lost and found. So the program called the MYP, which is the Middle Years Program. It is IB. Um, and basically, instead of consisting of a four-point system, like the PYP, it's an eight-point system. So basically, um, eight being the highest mark you can get, and one being the lowest. The MYP also consists of units, but instead of having them in your classroom, they're um, for the different classes that you might, ha might have. For example, in math, you'll have different units, such as maybe ratios or fractions, and then you'll switch units and work on something else. All of these from the MIP. So here we have the grade five classrooms, three of them, two of them down there, and 5F right here. Down this way we have two grade seven classrooms and one grade six classroom. Um, so in grade six and seven, you move classes every time, um, unless your form room teacher teaches a class, otherwise you'd move. So right now this is a grade seven history class. Mr. Grace, a history teacher. Um, and now they're watching a video um, and taking notes. So who is, what is McCormick discovered? Where did he find out? Okay. So that's Mr. Grace classroom one of the six grade seven classrooms. Here we have Ms. Trelford's grade six classroom, one of the four. Ms. Trelford teaches history as well as uh, homeroom. So she's a homeroom teacher too. So as I mentioned, you, you switch classes in grade six and seven, middle school, uh, for everything. 
Um, in grade five, though, that's the first year when you truly switch classes, such as um, for French. In French, you just go to the French room and music. That's the only time you um, move around in grade five. So right here, we have another grade seven class and um, my personal homeroom right here. It's actually one of my favorite classrooms because Mr. Fraser is a history teacher and he loves um, to learn about wars and he has many Canadian um, figures in the cupboards and he really goes all out, all out for these. He's also the basketball coach for grade seven. Okay. Right here we have grade fours working on their projects. Um, if the teacher activity that the teacher assigns them, projects, etc. So right here we have actress court. I've gone on at UCC. Um, some of them such as the Mask of Aesop, Pinocchio, um, and many, many more. So this is another entrance into Weston Hall from the bleachers and going down to the stage. Here we have another grade seven class. Mr. Perrin is also an English teacher. Um, Mr. Perrin. So right now this is a grade seven English class. Okay. So here we have some more uh, grade seven classrooms down here, and now we'll be heading on to the library. So right here we have the CFL. The CFL stands for Center for Learning. This is where um, homework club takes place. So if you um, need to work on some homework, you need some help with something, you need to work on a project, you can just come here after school on Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday from 3.30 to 4.45, here and in the library. There's always help, teachers that uh, will help you. You can come in at recess. And there's also a concussion rehabilitation program to get you back into um, the UCC schooling if you've had a concussion. Um, and you just come to the CFL, you learn everything that you need to get back into pace. And uh, that's what the CFL does. There's also a um, grade five enriched, grade six um, standard, and grade seven fast track, I believe, French class that takes place in here, Ms. Brunel's French class. So the CFL is concerned with educating students about the brain and learning how the brain works and how we can better learn. So in the MYP, you don't have a specific library time. Although in your English class, there is at least, I believe, half an hour per eight day cycle that you come here with your class and you can take out books and you learn about the library. So welcome to the library. Uh, the library has three main areas. There's a tabled area where projects and work are done. There is the couch area uh, where you can read, uh, and listen to audiobooks as well. And then finally, the project room, as I like to call it. It has encyclopedias, um, nonfiction books, and there's also a projector. Oh, okay. Um, so, my favorite place in the prep school, that's difficult, but I think it's the design lab that we just passed by, um, room 008, if you remember that cheesy pun, but still. That's my favorite room because uh, we learn so much there and I love using my hands to solve problems. So that's, that's definitely my favorite room. So here's the project room. There's a projector um, to have presentations and learn um, and inquire about your project that you're working on um, or just to come here and uh, look at some encyclopedias and nonfiction books 
and you usually come here with your class and it's a quiet space to work. Also groups um, after, uh, during school, such as um, the chillaxing group, as they call it, um, takes place in here. It's just to relax. Um, if you're having a, a rough day, if, you, if you're tired, or if you just want to you know, play some board games with your friends, you can come here um, on uh, marked days during recess. So we have over 16,000 books at the library, um, many of them fiction, nonfiction, encyclopedias, we have everything. And they're all on this one catalog here. I don't think it's working right now, but um, it's also, oh, it is, okay. Also on your computer, you can search up any topic that's interest, that you're interested in, um, or that you want to learn about, or any particular book that you want. So there's a simple system to um, take out books, to sign them out, to give them back in, and you just take a card from the back of the book, put your name on it, and give it in, and you've signed out that book. You have two weeks until it's overdue, but if you uh, still want to read it while it's overdue, uh, you just renew it, and you have another two weeks to bring it back. You can renew it as many times as you like. At UCC, we like to display uh, the art that our students make. This uh, right now is a grade six bicycle drawing that they've been working on and uh, we always put um, our art all over the school. So right here we have the middle art room. This is where grades six and seven have their art class. So we'll just go inside. Right now this is a grade six art class. They're working on clay sculpting and they're making, they're printing into pieces of clay and they'll be making containers. So their stamps, if you can see that red one there, were made in design class after they took a photo of um, something that interests them around the school, like outside possibly, or cool texture that they found interesting. They then made a stamp out of it 3D printed it, which uh, I'll show you the 3D printers later, and stamped it into their clay containers, um, which they'll be, uh, which they're molding right now, and they'll be putting the kiln later, and they get to take them home. Miss Preston is our art teacher for grades six and seven. So a lot of what is done in design um, folds over into what we do in art, uh, such as here with the 3D printed stamps and many other things, such as we'll be making in grade seven, we're making logos, which we will then um, be incorporated into Jim, which we'll be making a game. And then in, from Jim, uh, we'll be taking, we'll be making a logo for our game and then put it on a t-shirt for our class. So that's one of the things that we're doing in grade 7. So this is where uh, Monsieur Dupre's French class takes place. Um, SK and I believe grade 3 have um, class in here, as well as the French hallway, which we'll get to right now. So right here we have Miss Brooks' classroom. She is a homeroom teacher. She also teaches English. And Mr. Ma, who is uh, one of the grade seven math teachers, also has this class in here. So here's the ICT office. ICT um, is information technology. So basically, you're learning how to interact with your electronics and learning about laptops. And actually at UCC, we have a one-to-one -one program where every student is accompanied by one piece of technology, such as um, in grade five, you have laptops that save the school. In grade six, you have laptops they take home, and in grade seven. In grade four and under, you work with uh, laptops as well as uh, desktop and iPads. So right here, we have a grade five, I believe French class, I'm not certain, with Mr. LeBons as our teacher. Logan, Logan, you see? That's our 
So that's the French class, I believe. Um, I believe it's it's grade four or grade three. This is the health and life skills office. Miss Stewart is our health and life skills teacher, as well as Miss Boyce. Um, and they're basically our guidance counselor. If you have anything that you want to talk about, or you need to, or that you know any problems that you're having, you can just come to them and talk. And now this is Sixie, uh, Mr. Clute's class. He uh, is a homeroom teacher, as well as a grade six and seven enriched French teacher. Bonjour. Bonjour, Charles. Très bien. Très bien. Et toi? Je fais une um, vidéo avec le Facebook. Don't do it, I bet it. You're the star. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> Au revoir. Au revoir. So this is the French hallway. This is where uh, I believe, yes, this is where the majority of French classes take place, except for in uh, the younger grades such as SK, where the French teacher comes uh, to your classroom. Okay. Yeah. So right down this hallway, um, we'll be at the admissions office. So. Um, you may not know this, but Miss Powell is answering all your questions right now, and uh, we'll get to see her in one second. If you do have any questions, please feel free to put it in the comment link. And there she is. So there's Miss Powell now. So this is the Office of Admissions. Just note that there is two weeks left to apply for UCC. And if uh, you do want to tour to see the school yourself, please book it online and uh, we'd be happy to give you one. Okay. So here we have the gym. Um, so just to describe about our um, gym program, students uh, in younger grades, such as grade um, in the primary years, they have um, classes that are phys ed, which is basically you're with um, your class and you're being marked and assessed on what you do in gym class. So basically, um, that's what you do in grade three, two, one, and SK. In grade four, though, you have uh, phys ed as well, but you also have games. Games is where you try out for a team and you make a team and then you practice with them during games time. You also have real games that are after school too. Um, in grades six and seven, you have uh, games every day. Most, sorry, in grade six you have games e every few days. Um, but in grade seven you have games every day, uh, no matter what, except for Wednesdays when you end early. And phys ed is um, on uh, marked days in your eight day cycle depending on which class you're in. So the gym, uh, sports are taking place such as volleyball, phys ed class, um, and many other sports. We also have gym class outside. Um, on so right here we have the 3D printers. Um, in the art room I was talking about how they were stamping. Now this is uh, where they 3D print them. And it's done in design class. In design class is done in the design lab as well as here in the homes lab. So right here is the homeless lab. Right now this is a grade 7 design class. In grade 7 most of our design classes are done um, in the homes lab but in grade 6 most of them are done in the design lab. So Mr. Dupuy is our teacher. So right now we're working on personal branding and um, we made logos for ourselves and to remind ourselves what we want to achieve by the end of the year. Okay. So um, in grade seven, we just 3D printed our uh, logos that we just made. Um, in grade six, you would 3D print the stamps. 
And in grade five, you 3D print models of the planters that um, you use to make during your exhibition. Exhibition is the final project um, for the year and basically sums up the PYP. It's in grade five. Okay, this is where uh, grade sevens have their science class. Uh, right now, this is uh, a grade seven class having their science. Right now, we're working on science fair and um, on our projects. Okay. Uh, we also have many animals um, in our labs, such as uh, we'll go to the blue lab. So, such as um, geckos, shrimp, um, <laughs> many different animals. <laughs> and you can actually sign up to um, take care of one um, right here on that board down there. And you come in in the mornings, you feed them, and you can hold them as well. So, I'm just Pakla. Um, so, right here, this is a uh, grade six science class. Um, come on in. So, here's an example of some of the animals. Some fish. And you can feed them in the mornings if you sign up. So that's a grade six um, science class. So here's the sign-up sheet. Um, these are the four animals that you can sign up to take care of. Um, the aquarium, the corn snake, uh, the ball python, and Leo the leopard gecko. Uh, you can sign up to take care of these for a month. Come in the mornings, feed them, and hold them. Well, you can't hold fish, but you can feed them. Right here we have Bitov Lounge. This is a good space to uh, work on projects, um, to do some work that they were that is happening in the classroom. It's a great space to sit down. Uh, you can come here after school and wait for your parents if you're in an older grade, such as grade six and seven. Otherwise, you have to go to ASP. Um, but you can use your electronics here, such as your laptops um, and your phones, after four o'clock. So this concludes our tour. I hope you enjoyed. Um, just remember, there's only two weeks left to apply. And um, thank you for listening.